I'm going to talk about my X3 conversion that I did on my uh, my Grizzly X3 mill, my CNC conversion, and uh, I'll start by taking a look at the motors here. Here you can see the uh, the y-axis motor. Over here is the x-axis motor, and in the back there um, you can't see it, but there's a larger motor, motor a NEMA 34. These two motors here are NEMA 23 motors. On the side here, you can see where up here I've attached a, a gas strut up here on the on the head and then down here uh, on the base of the uh, mill. Um, I've attached a 75-pound gas strut to help that motor uh, lift the head up. And uh, down here, where there used to be a handle, uh, I got a from a surplus store. I was able to buy a a nice switch that happened to fit right into that that space there and so that's now my e-stop switch and uh, I've cut a hole here and and uh, have the wire coming out of the side right here um, over here I have my my geo my gecko drive controllers and um, I have a breakout board Bob Campbell breakout board I don't yet have the um, the limit or the home switch is attached that they'll be coming uh, soon and um, you'll notice I don't have a cover on this uh, on this whole box here I've taken an old computer case and uh, gutted it out and put in these uh, these bits here I will have a I will have a cover on the case uh, to keep the chips out when I'm done building this thing uh, one thing I want you to see here is um, on the gecko drive controllers down here uh, there is a there is a pot there to adjust, um, and I had to I had to adjust them fully counterclockwise in order to get the chatter out of these motors. And I'm not quite sure um, if it's adjusted properly, but it seems to be what I had to do. Over here, I have a an old uh, an old power supply that I that I bought about ten years ago. And it seems to be working well with the uh, with the motors. On my computer over here, I'm using uh, Mach 3, uh, and uh, that seems to be working pretty well. Okay, right now I'm going to show you the operation of the uh, of the motors here. Here comes the the Y motors. You can see the, the movement of the table there. Here are the uh, X motor. Here's the X motor. When the X motor starts, it seems to have a little bit more uh, chatter to it than the Y motors, uh, the Y motor, and I'm not sure if uh, if that's normal or not. Um, here's the uh, Z axis. You can see that it's moving pretty nicely in both directions. Now I'm going to turn on the uh, the mill motor. All right. You can see it moving here, and uh, you can also hear it. It's kind of a you can hear the gears up in the gearbox making a pretty fair bit of chatter. I'm assuming that's normal. I've, I've read that that's uh, normal. He's kind of loud to me. So uh, that pretty much is uh, all the different parts of my CNC conversion, other than the switches. Um, I'll, I'll be cutting parts uh, probably within a week or so. Um, my my limit switches and uh, um, my end mills and things like that are, are coming, and my and my new vice is going to be coming. It's being shipped right now from Enco. Um, my next task right now is to learn uh, learn how to use this uh, Bob CAD Cam uh, version 17 that I bought. Uh, cost me a hundred dollars. It's a Windows 95 version. I mean, whoops, not exactly the latest version, but uh, for a hundred bucks, uh, I think I'm good to go with that one. Uh, should keep me going for the next uh, year or so. And uh, that there 
is my CNC uh, conversion on my, X, my Grizzly X3 mill.